Hey everybody, I'm John Vandergeesen at Lisi Bishop Real Estate. Kyle Madero here. And we're gonna to talk to you today about the home buying process. There's a lot to take into consideration when you're buying a home, and we wanna go over those with you. Okay, Kyle, so step one, meet with the lender. Talk to me about that. Very important. Uh, they will go ahead and deep dive into all of your finances. Basically, they'll let you know specifically what you can spend on a home. Absolutely, so we're wanting to get a pre-approval letter. That pre-approval letter is basically stating that we can go to a seller, make an offer on a home, and uh, they're going to see that you know there's a bank that's already taken a look at your finances to make sure that you're in good standing for that price point of a home. So John, when looking for a lender, what are some things to consider? That's a great question, Kyle. Uh, you want to consider a few things. Uh, one, where is the lender located? And why that matters is because when they're a local lender in this local market here, sellers typically look favorably on that because they have more confidence on that lender's ability to close on time. Uh, another thing to consider is how fast can that lender uh, close the loan, especially in competitive scenarios. Uh, it's really a benefit when you can find a lender like Monica Davis at Synergy One Lending. She does a great job on closing a loan. Sometimes, you know, 14, 21 days are pretty standard for her. So the next thing Kyle and I have been talking about recently for especially new home buyers, um, what kind of loan products that are out there. Of course, we're not loan professionals, but you have to know the difference between a conventional loan and how much money you typically would put down with a loan. Uh, there are some conventional products that are 10% down, uh, but standard is about 20% down of uh, the value of the home. Uh, and then there's FHA products as well. What's great about FHA is it's typically only about 3.5% down, uh, and you can also get uh, assistance on down payment with Idaho housing programs, and uh, it can really make that portion of buying a home really easy. So really reach out to your lender and have them explain to you what kind of products are going to work best for my situation. So John, with FHA loans, uh, why don't you talk to us about uh, mortgage insurance? Yes, so that's a great point. So when you're putting less than 20% down on your first purchase, uh, you're going to incur what's called mortgage insurance. And that's a premium that you're gonna pay up until you get enough equity in your home that the lender no longer really requires that you have that. So you have to keep in mind that's sort of a hidden fee that you may not equate uh, originally when you're looking at buying a home. So keep that in mind and uh, you know your lender's gonna be able to give you, you know, some insight on what your total payment amount's gonna be as you're starting to shop. And you're gonna wanna find what that sweet spot is that makes it most comfortable for you on a month to month basis for your home loan. So John, what about VA loans? Oh, good point. So VA loans, uh, they're great uh, for veterans and, and people that qualify for that loan. And up to a certain amount, you actually can bring 0% down. So there are some particulars to a loan like that, but it can be a great option if you are looking to uh, keep as much money in your pocket and not have to put a whole lot of money down uh, on your home loan. So John, uh, any other fees that might be hidden or you know, maybe a first time home buyer wouldn't be aware of? Yeah, absolutely, Kyle. So there's there's quite a few fees involved with uh, with buying a home, and they can come from title, uh, and they can come from the lender. When you're working with lenders, always ask them, hey, what are your fees that I'm going to be incurring when I'm buying this home? Uh, origination fees are something that a lot of lenders use, and there is a host of others. And so you're really going to want to compare and shop around uh, as far as interest rates go, uh, fees that they'll have, and what my overall experience is gonna be when I'm using this particular lender over that one. So make sure you're getting really informed uh, before you move forward. Okay, everybody, uh, I'm John, and this is Kyle. Thanks for listening today, and stay tuned for more. Uh, we're gonna do these all the time. Hopefully uh, you find them valuable. And if you need anything else, reach out to our team. We're always here to help you on the, the buy side and of course the sell side of real estate.